So we developed a COVA score, which was one of the most exciting um, studies that we had been part of and really a lovely collaboration. So the COVID acuity score that providers can use to determine whether or not the patient in front of them may have an increased risk of hospitalization, ICU admission, or death within the next seven days. And so this collaboration, I think, was is fun because it was done with Brandon Westover here at Mass General, as well as his team of engineers. Um, and we'd already had, again, this established uh, collaboration looking at machine learning for HIV, trying to identify our brain age. We translated that sort of machine learning and sort of this group um, collective uh, understanding to try to see if we can identify using the electronic health medical record, really try to identify what are the key characteristics of, of patients who are going to be seen at a respiratory outpatient clinic that may eventually uh, be hospitalized again within the next seven days. And so that COVA score is looking at multiple factors that includes vital signs that included um, past medical history and in general once we took a look at all all potential factors we identified about 30 risk predictors that could identify with um, quite high sensitivity individuals that would uh, potentially be at risk for a negative outcome so that COVA score the reason why it's extremely um, just exciting and important is that it was built off of a development set of over 10,000 patients and then we were able to use about over 2,000 patients to validate that score to make sure what we had developed could be applied to another data set. So using that what we'll be using this COVA score is to put them in respiratory clinics potentially is our goal building it hopefully into the EPIC system where we can then show providers, here's the score, here is some of these risks that this patient in front of you may have to eventually be um, have a negative outcome in the next seven days. 